Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hola, Gaby. Good morning, Hi, guys. How are you? Buenos días, niños. Buenos días. Good morning. Good morning. Hola, Good morning. Zayda. Good morning, guys. We're going to begin. Thank you very much for joining today. Thank you for uh, joining on time. And today we're going to begin with uh, the next topic, right? Which is going to be uh, simple past, okay? And here we're going to be working with uh, the first, uh, I would say part of simple past, and that is with the verb to be, okay? Just give me one moment and I'm going to, um, I'm going to share with you the presentation. Just bear with me. There you go, okay? Así que, eh, then later I'm going to also share with you some topics or some things, okay, that you will need in order to practice a little bit with uh, simple past. Well, so we're going to begin with uh, was and where, right? As you know, eh, the verb be is a topic that we studied eh, in a separate way, right? We don't see the verb be with the rest of the verbs. And I'm going to let you know the reason why, okay? Uh, when we talk about the verb to be, I don't know if you remember in the previous um, uh, in the previous module, I call it the independent guide, right? The independent guide. So verb be is very special because it can be positive, negative, and question form. Right. So in this case, if we have positive, negative and question form, that means that uh, we are going to be able to use the verb be only. But when we move, you know, to the other topic to uh, pass simple, but um, for the rest of the verbs is different because we need didn't and we need did. Right. For uh, questions and for negative sentences. Now, uh, with the verb be, we have three different forms in present simple, right? So in present simple, we have um, am, is, and are, okay? But in simple past, it's even easier because we just have two, and that is was and where, <clears throat> right? So here, we're going to have the same thing, okay? And let me show you what I have. We're going to compare, okay, last night with now, which is, you know, past and present, right? It says Robert is at work now, but yesterday at midnight or last night, he, was, he wasn't at work. He was asleep, right? He was in bed and he was asleep, right? So when we use present, I mean, when we use uh, verb be, remember that we're talking about states, right? O como nos encontramos o estamos o nos sentimos, right? We, um, we use it for states. So for example, here we have am um, and is in present, right? You can say I'm tired now and I was tired last night, right? I can say I can ask a question, right? Where is Kate now? And where was Kate yesterday, right? The weather is nice today. The weather was nice last week, okay? So in this case, we are using the, the equivalent, right, of the verb to be, but in the simple past. Now, if it's plural, right, we are going to have where? Okay, where is going to be for plural forms, right? For example, you have, you are late now, and you were late yesterday. They aren't here right now, but they weren't here last Sunday, okay? Now, how does it work? Well, 
if it depends, right? If you want to use the verb to be in the uh, singular or plural form. For example, I can say, I was uh, sick yesterday, right? I was sick yesterday. Or I can say, I was at my mom's house yesterday, okay? Now that is going to be the affirmative form. The negative form, it will be like, I wasn't sick yesterday, right? Or in, in the other case, right? I wasn't at my mom's house yesterday, right? I wasn't at mom's house yesterday, okay? Now, if it's a question, again, the verb to be is in charge, right? Was I, was I, uh, was I sick yesterday? Oops, sorry, sick yesterday, right? Was I at mom's house yesterday? Okay. So here we have, right? I don't need any helper. No necesito ningún ayudante como en los otros verbos, right? Que necesito did and didn't. Here, I'm going to use the same information for, a, for positive, negative, and question form. Now, this is just an example, okay? Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Ya vamos a revisar lo demás, don't worry. Here we have... Um, with was, right? Let's go ahead and, and create one example with where, okay? I'm going to move a little bit down, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to begin, right? My parents, okay, or my classmates, right? My classmates were in, in oh no, were in the breakout rooms yesterday, right? Breakout rooms yesterday. Okay, my classmates were in the breakout room yesterdays. Or I can say something like, my parents, right? My parents um, were at church, right? At church, oops, <clears throat> on Sunday. This past Sunday, right? Now, if it's going to be uh, the negative form, the one that we need, we're going to do the same, right? But this time we're going to use the negative form of the verb, right? My parents weren't in the, I mean, my classmates, I'm sorry, weren't in the breakout room, breakout rooms yesterday, right? Okay, and then we have a second sentence. My parents, right? My parents, oops, sorry. My parents were bent at church on Sunday. Yeah. So there we have a negative sentence, right? For a, oh, give me one moment. For a beast to, um, Examples. If it's a question form, the one that we need, okay, again, we are going to use the verb be, right? Where my classmates in the breakout rooms, oops, I have breakout rooms yesterday. And the answer is no, they weren't, because yesterday you didn't work in the breakout room. No, they weren't. Oops. Bien. My parents, okay, were my parents at church, right? At church on Sunday. And the answer is, digamos que si vea, just they were. Okay, so based on the, um, on the form of the verb that we're using, uh, we are going to be uh, answering with a short answer, right? Y esa es la razón, chicos, por la que nosotros vemos el verb to be separado de todos los demás verbos, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo to be funciona independiente, right? 
uh, you can make positive, negative, and questions using only the verb to be. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here to my presentation. This is just a an examples. Okay, that I wanted to share with you. Ah, and this too. Eso también. Permito. There you go. Okay, so let's take a look at the affirmative and the negative form, okay? So in the affirmative form, uh, we have over here a complement, of course, right? So you're going to use was with I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. And you're going to use where for we, you, they, and plural nouns, right? The same with the negative form, okay? With the negative form, you decide if you want to use the full form or the contraction. You can say, I was not at my mom's house or I wasn't. Or my parents were not at church or my parents weren't at church. Diego. Yes, good morning, teacher. In, in this case, you, you are only using or only you are using uh, pass the verb to be yes only verb to be correct uh, the right. the verb uh, the rest of the verbs are in unit five the last unit all right mm -hmm. very good so here we have more examples right we have last year rachel was 22 so she is 23 now right when i was a child i was scared of dogs right Again, I'm talking about a past situation. We were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. The hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive, right? I think I have, I'm going to share with you this one. Remember, don't confuse, don't include other verbs, but no vamos a incluir otros verbos ahorita, sino que está la siguiente unidad donde van a usar did and didn't, ¿verdad? Pero aquí no, aquí solo puro verbo to be, okay? Now, let's go ahead and create some sentences, guys. It says, where were these people at three yesterday afternoon? So we have Dan, we have Jack and Kate, Sue, Mrs., Mr. and Mrs. Hall, and Ben, right? I'm going to give you the first example. So the first sentence is that, Dan was in bed, right, at three yesterday afternoon. What about Jack and Kate, guys? What do you think? Where were they yesterday? Jack and Kate yeah, were in the cinema. Uh, perdón, ¿me puede levantar la mano para que no hablemos todos al mismo tiempo? Disculpen. Who, uh, okay, Alison, diga. Jack and Kate were in the cinema. Okay, we're in the cinema or at the movies, right? Muy bien, cualquiera de las dos. Kite and Jake were at the movies or Kite and Jake were eh, in the cinema or at the cinema. Mm -hmm. Number three. Thank you, Leila. Sue so, so was in the train station. Exactly, right? Sue was at the train station. Very good. Number four. Eh, Glenda. Sería Mr. and Mrs. Hall eh, were at the coffee shop. Yo creo que es coffee shop. In a restaurant, right? Or a restaurant. Pero, Tomo o si no. Café, o, o, Si nosotros queremos decir un café, ellos están en un café, es un café, como en español. No, they are okay. at a café. Eh, y un coffee shop, un coffee shop es donde venden solo café, ¿verdad? O oh, café y postres. Mm -hmm. Pero un café es más como un, ajá, como un restaurante. Como café, no más. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, Sue was, perdón, este, Mr. and Mrs. Hall were uh -huh. in a restaurant or were in a café. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or in a coffee shop, pero no parece un coffee shop. Se ve bien fancy, bien elegante. Así sí, que no. yeah. Okay, what about number five? Eh, Leila. Uh, 
Ben was in the beach. Okay, Ben was at the beach, right? Oops, at the beach, uh huh. And you guys, where were you yesterday at 3 p.m. in the afternoon? Where were you? In my case, I'm going I to. Was, um, oh, dígame, dígame. I was rest in the hammock. Okay, you were resting on your hammock. Okay, very good. Anyone else? In my case, I was, I was, I was busy. Gabriela, please. I was drink coffee. Vaya, ahí estamos incluyendo otro verbo. Eso se llama pasado continuo. El pasado continuo es cuando nosotros decimos una oración que estaba en proceso o en progreso en el pasado, ¿verdad? En un momento determinado. En la oración eh, está bien, ¿verdad? Porque me pueden decir, ¿qué, ¿qué estabas haciendo? What were you doing? Pero la pregunta es diferente. What were you doing at 3 p.m. yesterday? Y ahí sí voy a decir, I was drinking coffee. Pero ahí el verbo to be ya no es el verbo principal, sino que el verbo principal es drink. I was drinking coffee. Estaba tomando café. Y es igualito, ¿verdad? Que en español tiene los mismos elementos, el pasado, el pasado progresivo, como el presente progresivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vamos a cambiar el ejemplo. ¿Cuál sería otra opción? Solo usando verbo to be. Recordemos que nuestro verbo principal es verb be. I was at home. Ajá, muy bien. I was at home yesterday in the afternoon. Eh, Sandra. I was at the supermarket. Very good. I was at the supermarket. Anyone else? Permítame. Permítame, Alison, solo le voy a bajar la mano un momento. Voy a tomar esto. Gracias, chicos, ya tomé la captura, solo de mi momento lo voy a guardar. Ok, le voy a compartir este también, so you can have it. Ahí está. Very good. So, Alison, dígame, perdón. I was in a salon. Ok, I was in, in a beauty salon. Yeah. Okay, I was in a beauty salon. Okay, very good. Now, these are, again, uh, examples of how we can use the verb be. Okay, vamos a hacer una comparación. Vamos a ver cómo lo vamos a mezclar when it's past and when it is present. Okay, let's go ahead and complete this exercise. Let me see. Vamos a hacer el primero, okay? I'm going to share it with you through WhatsApp as well for the ones that work with WhatsApp web, uh, so you can see it, okay? There you go. Let's go ahead and complete the exercise, please.
Let me know when you finish, please, in the chat. Thank you, Flor Virginia. Thank you, guys. Vamos a comenzar, chicos. Solo remember, right? If you want to participate, eh, raise your hand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Um, Sarvia, please. Eh. Uy, perdón. Es que quería apagar el, el, el micrófono de Shirley. Shirley, me ayuda, por favor. Porque me escucho yo en el fondo. O sea, me escucho yo. Ahí está, gracias. Eh, Sarvia, perdón. Okay. Last year she was 22. Mm -hmm. So she uh, is 23 now. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Paola. Mm, today the weather uh, is nice, but yesterday it was very cold. Very good. Thank you, Paola. Ana Beatriz. I am hungry. Can I have something to eat? Thank you very much. Uh, Alison, please, number four. I feel fine this morning, but I was very tired last night. Correct. Thank you very much. Number five, Glenda. My kids are here this morning. Where are they? Where are they now? Are they here this morning? My kids are here. Es are porque es plural, ¿no? Ah, no. My kids were mm -hmm. here this morning porque ya pasó. Sí, yes. perdón. Y pregunta, where are they now? Right? Because uh -huh. I cannot see them. Mm -hmm. Very good, Hilma. Uh, don't buy those shoes. They were very expensive. Mm, the they recommendation uh -huh, is in, in, in present, right? Don't buy those shoes. They are very expensive. Number seven, Leila, please. La chispa. <laughs> I liked your new jacket. Thanks. It was, it was on sale. Correct, right? It was on sale. Very good. Number eight, Gabriela. Uh, this, this, this time last year, I was in Paris. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. And number nine, Irma. Okay. Where are Sam and Joy? Continue. Okay, I don't. I don't know. They 
are here a few minutes uh, ago. 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 Pero es are or where? They were. Muy bien, right? They were here a few minutes ago. Good job, guys. Now let's go ahead and work on the second one. This time you have to write was, where, or wasn't, or weren't, okay? Please take some minutes to complete them y lo mismo, ¿verdad? Allí en el chat voy a separar, me avisan cuando hayan finalizado. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Brasilia. Thank you.
Perfect. Bien, vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. Uh, Susana, please, can you help me with sentence number one? Okay, teacher. And um, we weren't happy with the hotel. Mm -hmm. Our room was very small and it wasn't clean. Okay, very good. It wasn't clean, right? Thank you. Uh, number two, Glenda. Dice, Nick, uh, Nick wasn't at work last week because he was sick. Mm -hmm. He's better now. Thank you very much, Glenda. Uh, Leila, please. Yesterday was a holiday, so the banks were closed. Very good. Green they open today. Excellent. Thank you very much, Leila. Ana Beatriz, please. Ana Beatriz? Um, was Kate and Bill at the party? Kate wasn't there, but Bill... No, Kate was there, mm -hmm. but Bill wasn't. Wasn't. Very good. Thank you, eh, Ana Beatriz. Karina. Where are my kids? They wasn't on the table. Mm, but they, it's a plural, right? Where are my um, keys? Uh, they... They were mm -hmm. on the table, but they they are not there now. Mm -hmm. They are not there now. Very good. Thank you, uh, Gabby. Please. You weren't home last night. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job, uh, guys. Okay. As you can see. It's kind of uh, eh, intuitive, right? Es intuitivo la forma en la que nosotros vamos a usar, siempre recordando esa parte de si es singular o si es plural, ¿verdad? Porque si es más fácil eh, para nosotros poder identificar cuál es la versión del verbo to be que vamos a necesitar, ¿ok? Eh, now, vamos a chequear así un, con, como digamos un, una comparación, ¿ok? So, in the affirmative form, this is the order that we're going to have of the most important elements, which is the subject and the verb. If it's negative, it's going to be the same, right? And you have two options, contraction or full form. Now, what happens with the questions? With the questions, we have a switch. Hay un cambio. And that switch comes with the verb to be. So the verb to be comes at the very beginning, and then we have the subject. For example, were you in class yesterday? Was she in class yesterday, right? It was my mother in the house yesterday? Were my classmates in the breakout rooms, etc. So remember that when you ask questions, okay, the order changes, right? There is a switch between the subject and the verb. Some examples are, and can I have a volunteer to read the examples, please? Uh, Glenda. The first or all about? All of them. Okay. Was the weather nice when you were on vacation? Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Why were you late this morning? How much was your jacket? And uh, was the exam exam easy? ¿Cómo se dice exam, teacher? Exam, así, ah, exam. Ah, okay. Was the exam easy? Okay. Correct. Okay. So as you can see, we have the verb to be at the very beginning. Was. 
the weather nice when you were on vacation? Aquí hay pues una pregunta compuesta, right? Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? ¿Verdad? Siempre el verbo tuve al principio. Esta que ustedes ven aquí, eh, esta, más que todo, why were you late this morning? Esta sería una WH question, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Se acuerdan que les expliqué eh, eh, que cuando nosotros tenemos preguntas, ¿verdad? Pueden ser de sí o no. Y también tenemos WH questions. Entonces, esa, ese mismo eh, principio lo van a ver en todos los tenses, ¿verdad? Igual en verb to be, tenemos eh, yes no questions y tenemos information questions, que son las WH questions, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, estas dos de acá, why were you late this morning? Si yo ocupo why, es porque estoy buscando una razón. Ah, Because I woke up late. Why were you late this morning? Because I woke up late, ¿verdad? How much was your jacket? Oh, it was $20. Pero si yo pregunto, was the exam easy? Solo tengo un sí o un no. Yes, it was easy or no, it wasn't, right? Now, eh, when it comes to the short answers, pero, ah, perdón, creo que no les he pasado eh, la información de las eh, slides anteriores, ¿verdad? Se la voy a pasar. Denme un momento. Aquí están ya contestados. Ahí está esto. There you go. Vale, entonces acá, ¿verdad? Tenemos lo que son las short answers. En todos los tiempos verbales tenemos las short answers, ¿ok? Entonces, para short answers, si la pregunta, perdón, si la respuesta es afirmativa, voy con yes, I was, or no, I wasn't, right? If it's negative. If it's uh, positive, but it's someone from the third, per uh, third person singular, yes, they were, or no, they weren't. Were you late? No, I wasn't. Was Tom at work yesterday? Yes, he was. Uh, were Sue and Jim at the party? No, they weren't, right? So as you can see, you can give Short answers, pero obviamente es decisión suya. Si usted quiere dar una respuesta corta o si usted quiere dar una respuesta larga. Por ejemplo, acá si me preguntan a mí, were you late? Yo les puedo decir, oh, no, I wasn't late. I was on time, right? You give a full answer. Hey, was Tom at work yesterday? Yes, Tom was at work yesterday. And I'm giving a full answer. Were Sue and Jim at the party? No. Sue, Sue and Jim were not at the party or weren't at the party. Pero la razón por la que nosotros tenemos respuestas cortas o short answers en inglés es porque no queremos estar repitiendo lo mismo otra vez, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué es más común, Marcela? ¿Las short answers o las long answers? Short answers son más comunes, ¿verdad? Las respuestas cortas, ¿ok? Vaya, chicos. Now it's your turn for you to write down some questions, ¿ok? Here you have the answers. The traffic was bad. No, it was easy. They were on vacation. $120 because you were late. And yes, it was beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and write questions from this word plus was and where. Put the words in the right order. Okay, please uh, let me know through the chat when you have finished. Okay.
Give me one moment, guys. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. And let me know when you finish in the chat, okay? Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Prof. Virginia, Karina, Susana del Carmen. Thank you so much. Bye, chicos. Vamos a revisar entonces. Let's begin with question number one. Paola, please. Uh, why were you late this morning? Mm -hmm. Very good. Oops, no, he's visto nada. <laughs> why were you late this morning? Okay? Why were you late this morning? The traffic was bad, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Historia de todos los días, me imagino, chicos. Okay. The yes. Number two, uh, Susana, please. Um, were your exams difficult? Uh, just one thing, yeah. exam is singular or plural? Uh, singular, uh -huh. was your exam difficult? Exactly, was your exam difficult? No, it was easy, right? Hilma, number three. Um, uh, where were Susan and James last week? Mm -hmm. Where were Sue and James last week? They were on vacation. Very good. What about number four? Um, what was your new camera? Yes, right. How much was your new camera? Number five. Number five, Seria. Why were you hungry, hungry yesterday? Angry. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Why were you angry yesterday? Because you were late, right? Number six, eh, Liduvina. 
what was my the the word last week? Repeat it one more time, Idovina. Was night the word last week? Ah, okay. Vaya. En este caso, primero, como va el subject, ¿verdad? Antes de lo, del resto, ¿verdad? Entonces, primero comenzamos con el verb to be y luego el subject. Was the weather, right? Was the weather nice last week? Yes, it was beautiful, okay? Muy bien. Excelente, chicos. Now, esta parte de acá no la voy a presentar todavía porque vamos a ir con el resto de los verbos después, ¿ok? Permítanme, voy a compartirles esto también acá. Ahí está. Deme un momento. Ayer vi que estaban con que eh, eh, um, Leila les compartió una lista. Ya lo voy a poner a trabajar en una actividad y les voy a dejar yo otra, ¿verdad? Para que tengan ahí más material de donde revisar. Pero está bien, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes tengan material y se puedan compartir, no hay ningún problema. Eh, ya les pongo aquí el ejercicio, permítanme. Este es. Vaya, le voy a compartir el primer link. Vamos a practicar un poquito de was and where, ¿ok? Lo voy a dejar aquí en Zoom y lo voy a dejar aquí en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Let's go ahead and work on the exercise. Y déjeme buscarle la lista porque sé que tengo una. Eh... Sí, tengo algunos, veamos. Thank you, Flor. Ah, tengo una con español, fíjense. Gracias, Gabriela. Gracias, Glenda. Y les voy a dejar esta última. 
que esta sí tiene en el significado en español. Vaya, chicos, ahí les dejo tres listas, ¿verdad? Eh, que les pueden servir ahí en WhatsApp. Eh, thank you, Daya, Alison, and Adriana. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was Sarbia. Thank you, Sarbia. Le voy a pasar el siguiente, el número dos. Thank you, guys. Muy bien, excelente. Good job, ok. Les voy a dejar uno aquí. Solo Beatriz Rivas, si gusta, bórrelo en el, en el de WhatsApp. No se preocupe si no lo puede compartir. Ese lo quitamos de WhatsApp y lo pueden compartir en el de Zoom, pero no en el de WhatsApp. Gracias. Ahí está el otro, chicos, ok. Vamos a trabajar en el segundo. Okay. Muy bien, denme un momento, chicos.
Gracias, chicos, por las capturas. No, si no lo puede mandar, no se preocupe hoy. No se aflija, please. Thank you, Hilma. Ya lo vamos a hacer, don't worry. A mí siempre la de escribir me las tira mal. De veras, ya lo vamos a revisar, veamos. Yo Pero creo, creo sí, no sé por qué no le eh, pongo punto o algo así. Sí, no, no se no, preocupe. Yo creo que es cuando lo hago contractado, el apóstrofe no me lo reconoce. Mm, puede ser. Porque solo cuando lo pongo not, me la acepta. Pero cuando mm. le pongo n apóstrofe t, no me lo acepta. Tiene que ser esta apóstrofe que le comparto ahí en el chat. Esa. Esta, perdón. Si es rectecita, es la que toma. Si es a, hacia la derecha o hacia la izquierda, esa no la toma. Right. Tiene que ser cabalito esta rectecita. Por ejemplo, was and right like this. Uh -huh. Hay otra que es como, quiero ver si es esta. No, no me aparece. Hay una que es como hacia la derecha. Y esta otra hacia la izquierda. Esas no las toma. Vamos a ver. Eh, it says, look at the pictures and complete with was, wasn't, where, or weren't. ¿Verdad? So, what do you think? The dog was or wasn't? Wasn't. Wasn't. Okay. Wasn't happy this morning because he... Was... Was hungry. Was hungry. The children was, were, were very excited. Were very excited last Christmas, last right? Christmas. It, it was wasn't. Ah, wasn't. It wasn't. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't sunny this morning. It was was was, was, was raining, right? I yeah. 
wasn't 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 I was I wasn't short two years ago. I was was was, was, was really tall. Now let's just look at this sound. The picture is from fifty years ago. Answer the questions. Were the people uh were there people at the bus stop? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. yes. yes. right. Eh, there were. Vamos a ver cómo las tomas y las tomas así, ¿verdad? Yes, there were. Punto. A ver, aquí dice que ya está el puntito al final. Ajá. Sí. Ajá. Por eso, eso no se lo puse, pero me la tomo mala. Ok, was there a market? No, no, no there, there weren't. No, there wasn't. Yes, there was. Yes, was. This is market. I don't know, maybe. No, es el siguiente. No, there wasn't. Muy bien. Y were there people buying clothes? No, they weren't. Yes. Bien, ahí en Cooper y en Sun. There. Yes. There yes. were. There teacher, were. ahí sería buy. ¿El, ¿El verbo cambia o no? Ese es diferente, ese es pasado continuo. Were there, uh, were there people buying clothes? Yo no veo a nadie comprando. No, no, no me parece. No, Ajá. no there weren't. Eh, was there a train station? No, there yes. was. No, no. No, it's a bus, right? It's a bus station. No, no. there wasn't. There was. Vaya, entonces, como nos están haciendo preguntas con there was y there were, que es lo mismo, chicos, hay o no hay, como por ejemplo en presente, there is a train station, there is a bus station, si vamos a usarla en pasado, solo cambiamos el verbo to be, there was a train station, there was a bus station, right? Now complete with there was, there wasn't, there were, there weren't. What do you think? There were there wearing cars in town. There was where there was they was there was a theater where people could see plays fifty years ago. There weren't there was there was a shopping mall in town. No. There was. There was. There wasn't. Pues no, es que no parece que hay un shopping mall, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. There wasn't. There wasn't a shopping mall in town. And the last one. There was. Mm, there, there, was. there were. There, there were. There were a few people. Vamos a ver cómo los toma si no los acepta así. Bueno, aparentemente solo sí nos tomó todo bien, solo que aquí, según ellos, es, sí había un market es, que para mí era este. Ajá. No. There, podemos decir yes, there was, ¿verdad? Porque me parece que un, un market, acordémonos que un market es eh, donde gente vende sus productos, ¿verdad? Entonces, aparentemente ese chiquitito acá es el market. Ok, así que good job, guys. Very good. Y me gustaría que practicaran un poquito de listening, ¿ok? Pero bien cortito, ¿ok? Don't worry, no les voy a pedir tampoco que sea, ¿verdad? Algo bien eh, complicado. Por favor, vámonos a este link. Siempre con lo mismo, ¿verdad? Y vamos a escuchar un poquito acerca de Explorers, right? It says, read the Explorers quiz below. Complete the sentences with the name. And then... You, if you want, listen first. Escuchen primero, ¿verdad? Tenemos ahí a Ferdinand Magellan, a uh, Judy, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this last name, parece ruso, Gagarin, Roald um, Amundsen, Junko, I don't know how to pronounce that, right? And we have several, you know, uh, explorers. And here we have some sentences. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is to listen to uh, the different facts from the listening, And then you're going to answer here, right? You're going to add the name. Van a agregar el nombre, okay? And then it says match the, their names with their expeditions, okay? And then it says circle the correct option, right? You have here to pick what is the correct option. And finally, 
complete the paragraphs with was and where. Ok, let's go ahead and work on this one. Solo pruebe, si no lo deja escuchar, es un problema de, del internet. Recordemos que el internet tiene restricciones dependiendo de cómo esté configurado, ¿verdad? Y pues si lo deja, entonces complételo, si no puede probar también en otro dispositivo, ¿ok? Así que vámonos con este ejercicio. And let me know when you finish. Aquí en el chat, please. Le voy a poner aquí la separación para que me avisen.
Thank you, Adriana. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Hilma. Thank you, Glenda and Gabriela. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Alison. Bye, chicos. Entonces, we have checked positive, okay, sentences with was and where. Hemos chequeado también un poquito de there was and there, eh, there was, there were. Y hemos también eh, trabajado un poquito de listening con la parte de was and where, el ejercicio que están haciendo ahorita, okay. Y me gustaría finalizar, chicos, con la parte de preguntas. Ok, eh, solamente si gustan, hagámoslo, ¿verdad? Si sienten que hay mucho problema con, con este link, me avisan para, eh, para que podamos revisarlo juntos, ¿ok? Así de que vamos con la parte de preguntas ahora y uh, vamos a elegir si vamos con was o con where, ¿verdad? Así que, please, let's go to that link. Vamos a ese link que tienen ahí, por favor. Y vamos a revisar esa parte de was and where. Thank you, Liduvina. Eh, Miguelina also. Thank you very much. Leila también. Les comparto nuevamente el link para que no se vaya a perder entre los mensajes. Ahí está.
sorry guys. I'm going to show you a video. And this video, it's always related to this, there was, and where. Pero saben que mejor se lo voy a poner en el chat. No vaya a ser que restrinjan el video por, por tener un video de YouTube. Se lo voy a poner en el chat. Le voy a dejar uno de There Was and Where para que revisen ahí. Sorry, para que revisen ahí para el de mañana. Ay, no, porque hay tanto anuncio en YouTube, Dios mío. Les voy a dejar este aquí. Please watch it. Este necesito que lo vean. Para mañana, porque mañana vamos a revisar un poquito de the was and where. Y les voy a dejar uno con was and where. This is a conversation. Este se lo voy a dejar aquí también. Esto es esta conversación que les va a aparecer ahí, que es este que está acá. Eh, les recomendaría que busquen más al respecto porque este, estos videos de, de, de este libro, no me acuerdo cómo se llaman, creo que en este, en este canal están, pero son muy, muy buenos porque tienen un montón de conversations de los diferentes temas que, que van a estar estudiando. Así que les voy a dejar ese y les voy a dejar uno más, permítanme. Ah, sí, Real English es bastante bueno estos, estos videitos. Se los voy a dejar acá. Que es este Real English. Y ahí está. Yo solo les dejo el video, ¿verdad? Pero ahí mismo te, le, le va a mandar como a otras opciones, ¿ok? Try to watch as many videos as you can, ¿ok? Siempre, siempre más que recomendados, ¿verdad? Eh, a lot of videos. To watch a lot of videos about the topics. Gracias, Karina. Gracias, Adriana. Gracias, Gaby. Very good. Thank you, Hilma. Voy a cerrar acá. Ah, este también se lo voy a pasar. Este, es, este, es, este canal es muy bueno. Permítame. Que es el de Woodrow, ¿verdad? Ay, no, ojalá que no nos vayan a fregar el video por, por haber puesto las intro de los videos. Bye. Ahí les dejo el último. El señor Woodrow, que es el de ese canal, ha puesto un montón de quejas eh, sobre... Derechos de autor, porque hay maestros que usan videos de él en las clases y no es prohibido, pues, ¿verdad? Entonces, ojalá no nos vaya a afectar. De hecho, era a mí medio ocho, pero porque no la puse contractado. Ah, vaya, no, está bien, no se preocupe. Ya sabemos cómo es el comportamiento de, de, las, eh, de estos sitios, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupe. Yo siento que lo hice bien, pero no, no lo puse contractado. Bueno, está bien.
Thank you. Muy probablemente, chicos, para la parte de Was and Where, quizás habría que dedicarle solamente dos clases porque quizás lo de pasado con los otros verbos es lo que más requiere, ¿verdad? Así que es de considerar eso. Thank you, Esmeralda. Bye, chicos. Let's go ahead and have a quick review, ¿verdad? Um, we were saying that whenever we used or whenever we talk about uh, the simple past, okay, of the verb to be, we have to remember that it is independent. Es un tema, in the, incluso es un tema independiente and it's an independent verb. It means that whenever you have to create positive, negative or question forms, you are going to use it isolated. Quiere decir que lo va a utilizar solamente a él. ¿Verdad? Es independiente porque el solito puede convertirse en afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. So, as we were saying before, right? If it's going to be uh, a question, we are going to switch the verb to be to the beginning, like in here, for example, right? Were my classmates in the breakout rooms yesterday? Were my parents at church? Was I sick yesterday? Was I at mom's house yesterday, right? So we need to consider that also to provide our short answer, right? The short answer has to match with the question that I asked, right? Yo no voy a decir, hey, uh, were your classmates in the breakout room yesterday? Yes, they was. No, right? It doesn't match. No, they weren't. Same with the rest of the uh, of the information, right? So if I ask you, if I ask you, um, where were you? Uh, where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? Um, evening, okay? Ayer en la tarde noche. Where were you yesterday evening? Can I have some examples? Where were you yesterday evening? I was um, I don't know, uh, I was visiting Oh, but that is past continuous. Your location, solo su ubicación, tal vez, para que no tengamos que hacerlo con past continuous. So, I, how long can say? I'm sorry? Oh, uh -huh. I, I don't know. Where were you? Es que la pregunta no es, where were you doing? Sino, where were you yesterday evening? Were you at home? Were you at, uh, outside? Were you at the mall? Outside. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Leila was. Outside. Okay. Oops. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Hilma, where were you yesterday evening? I was at the church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hilma was uh church. Sí, porque es ubicación, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Glenda, what about you? Where were you yesterday evening? I was in the park. At the park. Ajá. Es que la diferencia, chicos, entre at y in es que cuando yo uso at estoy dando mi ubicación. Eso es todo. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Si usted usa in es porque está dentro del lugar. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, Hilma was at church. Yo solo estoy dando su ubicación. En, el, en su caso, Glenda uh -huh. was at the park. O sea, estoy dando solamente su ubicación. Then, si usted usa in the, ahí, pues, sí, ¿verdad? Estamos diciendo que estábamos dentro de ese dentro lugar. De... Ajá. Eh, yeah. What about you, Gabriela? I was in the mall. Gabriela was in the mall. Ok. Eh, Sandra, what about you? I was in my house. Okay, Sandra was in her house. In her house. Very good. Okay, Adriana, what about you? I was dinner at home. Mm, ahí sería otro verbo. Sería I was having dinner. 
Oh, Así okay. que, entonces en el caso suyo, I mean, Adriana was at home as well, ¿verdad? Usted estaba en su casa, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es la forma en la que lo vamos a estar utilizando, chicos. I mean, you have done a good job. Han hecho un muy buen trabajo, ¿verdad? Así que los felicito. Eh, la parte de, la parte de past of verbi es bien simple, pero es importante porque la confundimos y ya se fijaron, ¿verdad? La confundimos con el resto de los verbos, ¿verdad? Así que ahorita lo que primero que debemos de saber es que no vamos a mezclar didn't ni did con el verbo to be, porque el verbo to be es independiente de todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Así que, guys, I'm going to stop here, but thank you very much for joining and I'll see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Have a good day. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.